So this video is basically an explanation of what happens when you don't take your time to research and look at the shade names of an eyeshadow palette. So I'm a tiny bit salty, but it's okay. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So today I'm creating this look for you. I'm kind of trying out some new products. I have the Pat McGrath Lunar Nude Highlighter here for you. This is the Holiday Highlighter. Just decided to pick it up when she had a Black Friday sale. And then I'm also trying out this Makeup by Mario lipstick that I have on here. And where we get salty at is with the Supreme Nudes palette. But before I explain myself, let me go ahead and introduce myself. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're older but goody, welcome all back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy. I love makeup. That's how you get Dr. Ash in her makeup. Eyeshadow truly is my jam, but please just call me Ash or Ashley. So like I just mentioned before, I'm a little salty. I realized that. You're going to realize my reaction at the end of the video. And it's because I picked up the Artist Couture Quickie Nudes, right? And I saw this come out and I was like, oh, this is so cute. And I was really drawn to the colors, even though it was neutral, like super neutral. I have the Supreme Nudes. So I was like, oh, I'll pick this up. It's only $30 plus Sephora is having like the 20% off sale. So, you know, it'll be fine, right? And I'm sitting here doing the look for you and I'm like comparing some of the shades. I'm like, dang, the shades are really close. And I just look at the names and honey, the mattes are the same except for like one matte and only the shimmers are different, but they're very close in resemblance. So you'll see the comparisons at the end. And you know, the main mattes are basically the same mattes are in there. Meaning this, this is just an edited down version of that. So if you have the original, honey, do not pick up this, okay? Unless you're just going to be like me, but I forewarned you. I didn't look, so that's what happens. I usually take my time. I usually look at the shade names and things like that. I didn't, so therefore I'm salty. But we're going to proceed with this look. <laughs> so let's just have fun with the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got the Supreme Quickie Nudes, or the Supreme Nudes Quickie Nudes. And I, I'm going to jump in with the shade Undressed, which is just like mm, a neutral taupe shade. And I'm going to use this as my transition. I'm using the Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty A503 brush. This is actually my first time using this brush. Um, it, is a, it is a little powdery, so you do got to be careful. So, dip in gently. Oh. And that blends out really nice. It's just... It's a little light wash of color, but you can see it, so. Ooh, this brush is pretty good for the transition. This is my first time using this particular brush. All right, so I really like that little taupe color because it's taupe, it's got a lot of gray to it. Mm, I'm here for it. So now I think I'm gonna jump in with a smaller burning brush and go in with Aesthetic. Now I'm taking a BK Beauty 202, jump it in. And I'm just popping this in the crease. So that little gradient is good together. These shadows are powdery, so mm, you're gonna have to be a little careful. <laughs> I'm like literally, <laughs> it's like getting out here and I'm literally taking the excess in from outside the pan. Just place it on my eyes. Ooh, that gradient is cute. So now that we got that together, I'm gonna jump in with the darkest shade called Mink. Change the brush up. I got a BK Beauty 203. Ooh, it's like, I guess I got all the little BK Beauty brushes today. And I'm just going to just basically pat this right here in the outer V. You know, same old, same old. That's the thing. When you find, you know, an uh, eyeshadow shape that works for your eyes, just go with it. The only thing you have to just do sometimes is just maybe, you know, color placement a little different or 
maybe sometimes you want to try some other shapes or maybe more dramatic, but seriously, if you find what works for your eyes, go with that. So, so far that's nice and cute. It's a little smoky. I'm feeling it. I'm going to pop in with the shades. Let's see. I'm going to take that same BK Beauty brush. I just wiped it off. And now I am going to, let's see, mm, I'm going to jump in with Supreme 2.0 and then I'm going to do Iconic. Mm, and I think I'm going to wet this. So I'm going to take some Urban Decay All Nighter Primer Potion. Oh no. <laughs> All Nighter Setting Spray. <laughs> primer Potion is the eyeshadow primer. And I forgot to say, yeah, I, of course, the usuals. I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyes to shake caffeine. Ooh, Make sure I close it up, close it up. And then I use my Benefit Goof Proof Brow. I sure didn't even say. I just jumped right on in. Hmm. But that Urban Decay Primer Potion, that is just, it's my holy grail. It's such a good primer. My, my eyeshadows don't move all day. And I like that primer because it dries down, it gets tacky, and it just stays in place. It's not super emollient like some other primers where it kind of slips and slides all around. And the thing with that is, it's like it doesn't make your shadows last as long. So, this shadow is really pretty. I think wetting it definitely helped. And do I have any fallout? No. Not really, yeah. You might see like a couple like little shimmer effects, honestly. So, got that down. She's cute. Oh, it's like, it's very grungy. Oh, it's a nice grungy smoke. Ooh, from day to time to night, that would be good. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, pop in with Iconic. I'm just gonna use the same brush. And the brush is still a tiny, well, it was a tiny bit damp. Let's dampen it again. <laughs> And dampening the eyeshadow, you know, it really just helps it stick. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that over. Ooh, I like, I like, I like. Yes. It's so simple, but it's really pretty. This will actually be a really pretty holiday look. All right, I'm gonna finish up this eye and I'll be right back. All right, I got my eyes together, so. I think it's really pretty. I just added some liner. What did I do? I did the Extreme Black Liner by Pat McGrath. Where is it? The only thing about me being set up this way is so hard for me to get in my drawer right here. So Extreme Black Eyeliner by Pat McGrath. <laughs> She's hanging on. And then, of course, on the top, I went in with my Vinyl Liner by NYX. And I really like this liner. I know I've mentioned it, like, quite a bit before because, like, when you have really, um heavy foiled shimmers <laughs> so it just lays on top of those shimmers really good and it doesn't like bleed in like some of those felt tip liners so I really like that and it's affordable what is like three four dollars maybe six at the most so yes now I went in with the Gucci bronzer rare beauty foundation and concealer and so for my blush I have I've really been liking this palette now the eyeshadow palette, I think Melt broke my heart, but I really love the blush palette. So this is here. And let's pop one of these on. And then I do have that Pat McGrath highlighter that I have not tried from the Holiday Collection and a Makeup by Mario lipstick. So let's jump in with that. So I'm gonna go in with Sun Rosa, one of my favorite shades in this palette. And I'm just taking my brush that I use for blushes all the time, which is from Christian Siriano. It was a gift from some of my coworkers. But I really love, you know, I love like terracotta orangey blushes. It just, it just does a whole lot for me. <laughs> it just, I don't know. It's just so good. Do you see that? Mmm. So we're just gonna pop a little of this on. I'm just gonna kind of bring it up to the temples. I kind of do that because I wear a mask, so you know you get some of the color there. 
So that is the blush palette. So I really recommend the blush palette. If you're into these type of shades, if you have enough of them, then I totally understand. But I do really like melt blushes in general. Now, we got this baby right here. So I picked this up on like the Black Friday sale. It wasn't the extreme Black Friday sale because I think everything was like on super sale after a while, but let's see. This one does have that crown emblem in it, kind of like how the Bridgerton collection does. Now, I think I'm going to pass on those highlighters because they're really icy and one is just really stark gold. But here's the beautiful packaging. This is what she looks like. Mm, I'm excited. I, I was going to take pictures of this. Let's see. Here's a little swatch. I think this is the jelly formula. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I waited to get this highlighter because I just was not sure if I was going to like it. I thought it might be a little uh, on me, on my skin complexion, kind of like how the hockey puck is. But the hockey puck is cute, but it's, yeah, it's just all right. It's, it's not my fave. It's not my fave. So just going to go in with the sister brush of the one I was using before. This is the one I usually use for highlighter. I'm like, I don't want to mess up the envelope, but girl, it's okay. It'll be all right. At least it goes down pretty deep, like the embossing. Ooh. So it is a little, um, it's pretty. It is blinky. Oh, I like the formula. It's very blinky. But it doesn't, it's not very gold based. And that's what I was nervous about on my particular complexion. Because sometimes these shades are not like the friendliest on me. But I do like it. I think my my favorite highlight that she has is, what is it, the, the, the Nectar Gold. That's the one from um, the Divine Rose Blush Collection. So I'm just going to kind of blend it in. But I'm not mad at this at all. I think it's pretty. Um, I would just probably wear this when I wore more cool tone looks versus more goldy looks. So... It's pretty. I'm not bad at it at all. So that is the Pat McGrath. That is the Blonde Skin Highlighter Skin Finish. This is Lunar Nude. So this is the one from the Holiday Collection. So yeah, I definitely think I'm going to pass on the ones from Bridgerton because I know one is really icy, which I think is fun for that collection. Um, so I'm not even mad about that. And then I have this lipstick by Makeup by Mario and this is the shade that's called Amanda. So this is the packaging. It's really sleek. Mm, I like it. And this is the shade. Beautiful. So how much does this cost? Because I got all of this stuff with that 20% off that Sephora was doing the second go around like two weeks after VIV. Mm. Like you're mad about it, but then I bought a lot of gifts with it. So, you know, it's only so mad I could be about it. Okay, so these lipsticks were $24. So it's the Ultra Suede Lipstick. It comes in like 19 shades. The shades were really beautiful. So Amanda is described as a deep plum. And let's see, they're vegan, they're matte finish, long wearing, stick formula, okay, duh. And it says it's supposed to be hydrating. Um, let's see. Uh, it says it's supposed to be an ultra comfortable non-drying formula. Features dual seed oil, which moisturizes and softens the lips for a super sensual, uh, uh, sensual additive. Okay, it has additive glide. Okay, so it's something in there that helps to additive. <laughs> so it glides across your lips. Okay, blur filtering technology in the form of smoothing gel offers smooth, matte, soft focus coverage in a single stroke. Twenty gorgeous shades serve. Oh, so it's twenty shades in total, but. At least Sephora is only showing 19. Anywho, so let's try this. I had on a little bit of my Tatcha uh, Gold Spun lip gloss or no lip balm. So my lips are going to be crusty, crusty. I don't know why I thought it would be a little deeper, but no. I'll figure out if I like the color in a second. So it does feel creamy. It feels good. I do. I probably need to exfoliate, but I do get some deep lines right there. That wearing that mask, it be it tears me up. 
I'm gonna grab my Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade, what is it, Scorpio? It's like one of my favorite liners. Alright, the color is pretty. It's very, this is very like holiday-ish look. Don't you think? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it is. Mm. It's cute though. Very classic. Mm, the eyes, the eyes are giving me life. And with this highlighter mixed in, even though I like the highlighter because even though I have like so much gold on my eyes and I have a lot of bronziness with the cheeks, mm, the highlighter is kind of like giving the right balance and getting, ooh, getting the glow. Hmm. So these are the new products I have. Let's see. So uh, you're probably once wondering about the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is beautiful. Let me pull out the, the regular Supreme Nudes. So here is the original Supreme Nudes. And then here is the new one, right? So let's be honest. If you have this one, you don't need this one, but I like this one. <laughs> I like this one too, you know, but I mean, just to be honest. So let's, let's compare the shades Supreme. So this is Supreme 2.0. So that's from the new palette. And then we have Supreme, which is one of my favorite shades from this one. And honestly, when I bought this, I never even looked at them. This is the, the Supreme from this particular palette. So, yeah. <laughs> you don't need both. You you really don't need both. But I like the Supreme Quick. I, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. That's my bad. But I'm going to keep both. So, the, the original one is a little bit more olive -y, And this one is a little bit more taupey. I like both shades. But... You don't need both, okay? Because it's only three shimmers. Let's see. The next shimmer we have is... And they both feel the same pretty much as far as the formula. So next we're going to pick up Iconic, which is in the Quickie. So we have Iconic here. It feels really nice and buttery. And then we're going to pick up Lavish from the original version. Uh... Iconic feels but more buttery versus lavish, which is in the older palette. So this is lavish and this is iconic. So I actually prefer lavish better than iconic, but you don't need it both, okay? And then there's only one more shimmer. So uh, I did not use the shade Brilliance in here. So this is Brilliance. And this is more of a sparkly topper shade. And then the only other shade that we have in comparison in this particular one is the Bronziana. Yeah, so that's Bronziana. And this is Brilliant. So you don't need. Oh, I totally didn't even look. Damn. <laughs> this is my bad, y'all. So, yeah. So, okay. Just get one or the other. You don't need both because I've just, like, really messed myself up. So, I don't know. It's gently used. I might gift this to somebody because you do, you have mink and aesthetic right here and mink and aesthetic. I didn't even look at this. This is just me, like, oh, it's cute and buying something and not even doing my research. Yeah, so this is basically an edited down version. And then you have nudist and exposed. So you have exposed, nudist. So the only thing that's different is the shimmers. The mattes are the same. Do we have undressed? Oh, and then we have undressed in this one. And I don't have undressed in the other one. So maybe I'll keep it. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. <laughs> so I do like this. It's good quality. It's definitely $30, but the original wasn't that expensive. How much was the original? Let's see. Yeah, the original was only $42, so you don't need both. <laughs> but it's great quality. This is how it performs. <sighs> it is what it is. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do 
with this one. <laughs> but, but, you, but you don't need both. You, you don't need both, okay? I never even realized. I never even paid attention. I was just like, oh, it's nudes and it's neutrals. You know, it's all going to be basically the same at, you know, at some point. But I didn't even like look and take the time to realize that the matte shades were all the same. Otherwise, I wouldn't have purchased it. Do I want to return it? I don't really return makeup unless I absolutely need to. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> now, as far as the highlight, the highlight is gorgeous. I really like this. I'm really glad I did purchase this on a sale because I think I got it for like $40 versus the $60. I know it went on even more extreme discount like right after Thanksgiving, but it, I'm liking the glow. Ooh, it's... Mm, it's so vibrant so I'm really liking that and so far the lipstick is great I can't tell you how long it's gonna last I'm gonna film another video and we'll see but I will have to wear a mask when I go to work later on today so I can't testify to the longevity of this product but you know I hope you guys like the little try on session I had today it was really fun um yeah but if you have this don't don't buy this <laughs> don't be like me okay so um with all of that being said that is it that is all i have for you today let me know down below in the comments that you pick up any of these products that you opt for the quickie nudes instead of the original supreme nudes uh let me know down in the comments give this video a big thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when i come on another video which will be very very soon and subscribe to my channel because you know i would love to have you here at my little makeup family with all of that being said, mm, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance, chair dance, hey, 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 chair dance, mm, mm, chair dance, chair dance, chair dance. All right, y'all. Bye.